Now, in the intro your room, if any person is asking, can you please explain about type 2 driver architecture, advantages, limitations, just simply draw this diagram, explain what is the functionality and explain what are the advantages and the limitations, right? Sir, do you know OCI driver, OCI driver is a type 2 driver provided by Oracle people. What is this one, sir, OCI driver? OCI driver is the type 2 driver provided by Oracle people to communicate with the Oracle database. Remember, sir, now this OCI driver internally uses OCI libraries. These OCI libraries are nothing but C language functions. Remember, OCI libraries are nothing but internally C language functions. Because sometimes what will happen? Can you give an example for type 2 driver? Sir, OCI driver provided by Oracle people. It is a type 2 driver, right? Okay. Next, uh, by using this uh, driver, yes, Java application can communicate with the uh, Oracle database. Next, uh, OCI driver and OCI libraries. These uh, two things are available in the jar file form. OJDBC, OJDBC, 14 dot jar OJDBC 14 dot jar if you are using Oracle 10G if you want to use Oracle 11G then OJDBC 6 dot jar if you are using Oracle 12C sir are getting if you are going to use Oracle 12C which jar file contain OCI driver and the corresponding OCI libraries so if any person is asking can you give an example for can you give an example for type 2 driver OCI driver is the type 2 driver provided by Oracle people OCI driver internally uses OCI libraries to communicate with the database OCI driver and the corresponding OCI libraries are available in the form of jar file based on your Oracle version you require to use corresponding jar file ojdbc 14.jar or ojdbc 6.jar or ojdbc 7.jar oracle 10g internally uses java 1.4 version next oracle 11g internally uses java 6 version oracle 12c internally uses java 7 version but anyway, based on your version, you have to use the corresponding jar file. 